Okay, don't waste the time. Let's introduce the lineup of the discussion panel. The first is Mrs. Noreza Kamaruddin, Mrs. Norhazina Halim, Ms. Ravda Mohamad No, Mr. Anwar Muhammad Abdul Hadi, and Mr. Hamim Sayuti. They will discuss about the Clang Belly Double Track 2, KBDT 2. Let's go. The study tower for the railway engineering program located at Sarman Depot, Sarman Negeri Sembilan. During a visit to the Sarman Depot, which is part of the Klang Valley Double Track Project, we are made up of uh, UTM space students and lecturers who had the opportunity to receive a detailed briefing from the project management team. In the tour, it provides and insight into the scope of the project, highlight the project objective, uh, briefing on the storage area, the welding yard, machine, and a demonstration of welding and tamping. This project involved the rehabilitation and electrification of the existing railway track, as well as upgrading the track system, uh, upgrading the signaling and communication system, upgrading and maintaining the electrification system, uh, station facility reading, flood mitigation, and other infrastructure and facility works. The Clown Valley Double Track Project KBDT is one of the important initiatives in the development of public transport infrastructure in Malaysia. The project aim to improve the efficiency and capacity of the rail system in the Klang Valley, which is the fastest growing metropolitan area in the country. KBDT involves the construction and upgrading of two railway tracks, replacing the existing single track to reduce congestion and improve the quality of rail service. This include the construction of a, of a new bridge state of the light signaling system and upgrading of railway station to meet the growing demand of Clang Valley residents. The main purpose of this visit was to get a detailed briefing on the Clang Valley Double Track Project Phase 2. Uh, the visit allowed uh, us to get an overview of the implementation of the project, including the technology and methodology used in the construction and maintenance of the double track. The specific objective of this visit include understanding the project scope, the extent and scale of the KBDT2 project, including the tracks involved and the areas that will benefit directly. Monitoring construction progress provide an up-to-date report on the physical progress of the project, including achievement and key challenges faced. Technology and innovation that is uh, introducing the latest technology and innovation used in the project to improve efficiency and safety. Security and maintenance emphasize safety aspect in the construction and operation of double track. Okay, for the project description, the Klang Valley Double Track Project Phase 2 KBDT is a major infrastructure initiative aimed at improving Malaysia's rail transportation system, especially within the Klang Valley region. This project involves the upgrading and rehabilitation of existing railway lines, as well as the construction of new double tracks to enhance the overall efficiency and capacity of the rail network. KBDT is a rehabilitation of a 30 year old railway tracks and permanent way structure. It is divided into two packages where in KBDT 1 it starts from Rawang to Kuala Lumpur or Sentul, which is 110 tracks kilometer, and KBDT 2 it begins from Kuala Lumpur to Surban and Kuala Lumpur to Port Klang, which is 256 tracks kilometer. There also replacement of rails to UIC 54 kg types to carry an Asia load of 20 times to meet a maximum speed limit of 150, 140 km per hour. Upgrading the signaling, signaling system, electrifications, overhead, catenary, and other associated works. Besides, they also upgrading infrastructure of station with several stations to equip with new canopy roof, elevator system, upgrading of electrical and communication rooms. 
minor upgrading of bridges, pedestrian and motorcycle bridges along the community. Flood mitigation programs with installation of new culverts for all lower areas along the community. And they also installation of fencing and drainage system to protect the integrity of permanent way structure. For project goals and objective, the project goal and objective for KBDT is to achieve an energy load of 20 tons with a maximum train speed of 140 km per hour. KBDT project objectives are to complete the project on time with less disturbance to the passengers and public. By doubling the tracks, the project aims to significantly enhance the efficiency of rail service. This will reduce congestion on the tracks and allow for more frequent train services, thus improving the overall travel experience for passengers. The addition of double track will increase the capacity of the rail network, allowing it to handle a higher volume of passengers and freight. This is crucial for meeting the growing in transportation demands in the Klang Valley region. The project focuses on improving the safety of the rail system through the use of modern technology and infrastructure. This includes better signaling system, upgrading tracks and enhanced station facilities. KBDT2 is expected to stimulate economic growth by improving connectivity and accessibility. It will create job opportunities during the construction and oper operational phases and support the development of surrounding areas. By promoting rail transport, the project aims to reduce the reliance on road transportation, thereby decreasing traffic congestion and lowering greenhouse gas emissions. For current stage of the project and any milestone that have been reached for this project, now at 25% where Kuala Lumpur to Seremban downline section is almost reaching to the end. Upon handing over to downline, they will start the 55 kilometers upline Seremban to Kuala Lumpur scheduled to be completed within 24 months. Thus, they will start the Port Klang to Kuala Lumpur section in July 2024. It is 50 kilometers and scheduled to be completed within 18 months. Okay, I want to tell you about technology and engineering aspect. Technology and innovative is using in this project. The use of the track installation is seen. SPV help track panels installed at a limited area with the no access existing multi-purpose track machine such as TRT panel detail SKVT in progress, especially in handling rail transporting at the site. Installing for the sleeper made from composite material at the bridge. Technology engineering aspect. 3.2 describe the engineering method and material employee. Track upgrading and rehabilitation, construction on double track, station upgrading, signal and communication system, maintenance facility, material employees. Urban technique operation during the busy. Continuous welded rail CWR technology, automatic trail laying system. Advanced signaling and control system. This main challenge faced by the project team. Condition X site, CRO challenge, existing public service utilities, engineering service power, hidden and inconsistent cable formation. Explain how the challenge are being addressed. For example, main challenge, I choose one uh, example. Addressing the challenge of hidden and inconsistent cable formation. Step first, advanced utility detector detection technology are employed during the planning and design phase. Comprehensive utilities coordination and verification process are implemented. Proactive risk management strategy are adopted to mitigate the impact of hidden and inconsistent cable formation. Robust project management practice play a crucial role in addressing challenges related to cable formation. Stakeholders in engagement and public communication are priorities for foster transparent and manage expectative regating protection description caused by utility and counter. Potential risk and the strategy in place to mitigate them. 
first hidden and inconsistent cable formation second environmental impact third schedule delay for safety and healthy risk fifth cost of a impact and benefit in the term of the local community the rail project will improve accessibility to public transportation allowing the local to experience better comfort in their daily commute this will open up new job opportunity in the service and tourism sector around the new rail station in addition the project can also develop the area around the station as a new economical hub with the arrival of more tourism and invest in investor the long-term benefit of the project once completed first and furthermore increased accessibility to public transport will be have positive impact on the mobility of the population local will be able to enjoy faster and easier travel to their destination contributing of the efficiency of daily mobility and lowering reliance of the private vehicle this not only reduce traffic congestion but also have the reduced air pollution negative impact on the environment Secondly, this project will be opened up a new opportunity to tourism and the local economy. Newly built and refreshed rail station can become new economical hub with a new business opportunity including food and beverage, tourism service and accommodation. A visit to the rail project site of as many valuable lessons among them uh, is a deep understanding of the planning process and implementation of major infrastructure project such as uh, projects we were able to see firsthand how every stage of a project from initial planning to site completion and construction requires close collab uh, collaboration between various parties including de developers uh, local authorities and the uh, local community in addition, we also learn about the challenges faced in implementing these mega projects, including human resource management, logistics, and compliance with safety and environmental standards. The importance of good coordination and coordination in maintaining the construction schedule and ensuring that the project runs smoothly and on budget is also a very valuable lesson how the visit has influenced our understanding of the projects and career aspirations the visit has given us a deeper insight into the real project and its impact on infrastructure and society we have been able to see firsthand how factor such as planning project management and interaction with the local community play an important role in the success of this project. In terms of career expression, this visit strengths our resolve to continue to be involved in the field of infrastructure and development projects. We intend to contribute to the development of the country through participants uh, in mega projects like this with a focus on innovation, sustainability and great social benefits. The conclusion from you about this Clang Valley Double Track is to project. This project has a significant positive impact on economic development in the surrounding area. Uh, Trust improve uh, accessibility and public transport facilities. Uh, the project provide new opportunities for business growth and employment opportunities for local residents. Okay, uh, overall, this rail project not only meets the original infrastructure goal, but is also able uh, to provide add uh, value to society and a uh, whole. Uh, we confident uh, that the positive impact of this project will be felt in the long term uh, and making it an excellent example for future infrastructure projects.